Hi, it's Mike Del Scari. I'm outside the Peabody District Court, and this court behind me is where you would go if you were arrested for OUI in Peabody. And I want to talk about what are some of the things that I look for in terms of deciding whether your case um, should be resolved by a plea or whether we should take the trial to case the case to trial. First of all, what I look for, look at first is the driving. Uh, cases where there's no significant bad driving are prime cases to take to trial. Um, in other words, you, you stop for a lane violation. They, they're saying that you cross the mark lane, speeding. Even if it's a 911 report, a lot of times those witnesses don't show up uh, to testify. Even when they do show up, I've cross-examined a lot of so-called civilian witnesses and sometimes their memory of what happened and what they saw isn't quite accurate. They don't get a good description of the car. Um, we had I had a case recently where the, the driving, they said the person was all over the road, that uh, she almost hit the curb, struck uh, other cars. It was pretty egregious. If you read the report, you think, oh, this is just a plea. We took the case to trial, and at trial, the witness really didn't line up the plate. So the officer followed another car. We had a civilian say that my client was all over the road. The cop goes down the road and finds another car. Similar description, but not exact. I argued, how do we know the um, civilian and the cop pulled over the same car or saw the same driver. So don't get, um, if you see a 911 call and you, th you hear about a report of erratic driving, I, I've won those cases uh, frequently. Sometimes there's not even a basis to stop you. If they stop you solely based on a 911 call, we can challenge that saying there's not a constitutional uh, basis for the stop. So driving's number one. What, what else do I look for? Um, statements. Um, how much did you say you had to drink? When? Timing of it. Um, that's probably next. Is there alcohol in the car? Um, certainly, if there's alcohol in the car, we want to try to get excluded or explain it. Um, and then and finally, field sobriety tests. Often, you'll look at the report and you'll think, oh, they said I failed the field sobriety test. I didn't do well on them. I look at those reports. Most of the time, I'll be able to show that you did very well. There's a lot of things they're looking for. Offices don't score these correctly. There's a lot of little things I'll see just by looking in the report uh, that you won't necessarily pick up on um, not having cross-examined hundreds of officers, not knowing their training and what they're supposed to be doing. These tests aren't just uh, pick up your foot. You're supposed to pick up your foot a certain inch, number of inches, six inches, you're supposed to look at your foot. So a lot of little things that you may have done right. And often the reports are vague. It might say, oh, person, I asked them to put their foot up, they put it down. Uh, and the report's unclear if you ever picked it back up. And a lot of officers at trial, when I t had questioned them, They'll acknowledge, they'll say, yeah, it's not in the report. They must have had their foot up uh, for the full 30 seconds. So keep all these things in mind. Those are some of the things I look for and decide whether you should fight the case or take it to trial. If you're unsure, if you have a case, I'll look at it and give you my opinion about whether there should be a plea or whether you should take it to trial. It's a practical matter. Which at first OUI, the difference between a plea, resolving the case and going to trial, isn't much. Um, you get a quaff, the same terms and conditions, after trial, in most cases, you would get a guilty, same terms and conditions. So the distinction between a quaff guilty, I would say is very minor, and sometimes for most people, it doesn't make a difference at all. Um, so my name's Mike Del Signori. Call me anytime, myself, 781-686-5924. Call nights, weekends, it's never too late, too early to call. I'm here to help.